Well, hey folks, VC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm having a look at a game that came out, well, 10 years ago. This is Freight Tycoon Inc. Now, I have featured this on the channel before, uh, quite a while back. The reason I'm bringing it up now is because a couple of the YouTubers I watched have shown a early access game called Transroad America. And it looks really, really neat. And then I realized, you know what? I've seen that somewhere. Well, it's basically this game on a bigger map, and they've used everything this game does, and then sort of added a little bit to it. So, really neat. But I thought, you know, for those people in uh, maybe don't, you know, that fond of early access, um, you know, give this one a try. It's uh, also only one sixth of the price, and see if this is the type of game for you. So I'm going to jump in here uh, and do the tutorial because that'll show us sort of, you know, the general gist of the game as tutorials tend to do. Really good game. I said came out 10 years ago. I believe it was released on Steam in 2007. So here we go. Hello and welcome to the training mission. Here we will help you to master the basics of managing a transportation company. Money and recognition are awaiting you. Oh, in... Transroad, it's money and uh, reputation. <laughs> so press OK to continue, or press the check mark. There we go. Well done. <laughs> yes, I feel pretty good about myself for doing that. You can now move around the map, control the camera. So, a fairly standard affair for these. Just simply bonk the edge of your screen. Okay. Uh, you can zippity do in and out as well. Although not to, again to the same extent, the Trans Road one, you can actually see the entire country at once if you zoom out far enough. Okay. Alright, well now they're telling us you can zoom in. You can also grab both mouse wheels and move up, or both uh, mouse buttons move up and down. I guess that's for those of us that don't have a scroll wheel on our mouse. All right, let's go. Look in the left upper corner of the screen. There you will find the primary game parameter. The amount of money in your account. In this case, we've got a million dollars. Yes, I said a million dollars. Okay, what else would you like to teach me? Look in the right bottom corner. Da, 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 down here. We can change our game speed. We can look at the map, etc., etc. Uh, try the various game speed modes. Click click and click they won't let us try this one. Oh, did it did the vehicles and stuff pop? i think they did all the cars disappeared didn't they oh they don't disappear they just stop and you can't see them okay uh and press okay well okay oh look at this dun 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 2602-1950. This is your first message. Nice. Open messages. All right. You can use the map to control the situation. All enterprises, garages, offices, roads, and maps are depicted on the map. Your cars and houses are shown with your color. You pick a color when you first start. So, uh... Game events that should attract your attention are highlighted, so press OK. Move to any point, so they want us to start by going to our garage. So if you click on that point, ooh, it takes us to the garage. All right, let's buy this garage. So let's click that and click the purchase. Boom, and yes. There we are, we're down to 800,000, but we own a garage. Now the garage is yours and you can buy your first car. You read truck. Note that the bookmark with the title of your garage has appeared on the left side. Ding, ding, ding. Barrel mech. Barrel mech. Don't know why. wonder if you can change that. Meh, maybe not. Anyway, uh, but, 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 but you can open the car market by clicking on the blinking icon. So, here we go. Now, they want us to buy a truck. And as you can see, this one... Uh, $50,000, 18 years, it'll do 61 kilometer an hour. And it is strictly a tanker truck, as you can see. If I click on it here, that shows the type of trailer. 
right? The tonnage, what it'll carry. Or we've got this guy, which is not quite as quick, costs twice as much money, but it'll also haul 8 ton and a bunch of different goodies. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to buy this guy. To buy it, you simply pick the one you want and drag it to your garage slot. There we go. Dum 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 dum. All right, now we want a driver. So let's have a look here, shall we? We need a driver that can drive our stuff. Now, as you can see, this guy, well, he specializes in tankers. So we don't have a tanker. This guy, though, as you see, he specializes in containers, and that's the kind of truck we need. So, we are going to hire this person. And to do that, you do the same thing. You simply... Oh. oh, okay, right now it won't let me because it's not done describing what I need to do. <laughs> have a license to work on oh, okay they're just telling us what i just explained he actually has a license to work on what we need so now they'll probably let me drag him okay drag him to the car i got on the left so here we go and boom we now have a driver all right let's move to the heavy industry plant which is here <whistles> Protagon. Dum, 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 dum. All of these things expand as you use them. Your cities get bigger. All of that sort of normal tycoony thing. All right. So let's click this guy, and we're shown the different contracts that are available. Now we have a container truck, so not much choice, right? This shows us the stages, number of stages. In this case, six. Okay. Um, required body type and tonnage we have an eight ton flat deck so that's fine we must be able to manage 50 kilometer an hour to make this contract now we can do 59 so again we're good in fact everything here is cool so alrighty and press ok okay as a rule a car can deliver just one batch of goods in one contract thus if you're successful completion necessary the tonnage of the car that's that part so so again same thing happens you want this contract we simply drag it onto our vehicle and well now it's just a matter of clicking the game speed and waiting and what we'll eventually see there he is there's our little truck dude and he comes out, he gets his load. And he's going to bring it all the way down to Meadow Woods and deliver it. A little forklift comes up and unloads him. There you go. Now, you received your first profit. And as we see, oh, not bad, $7,300. So... The profit has not covered the car cost yet, but better days are yet to come. Proceed with the contract. So he'll continue to run the other five or whatever it is runs that he's got to do. Right? Ah. Attention, your car has broken. Uh-oh. So we can either click on the symbol on the map of where our vehicle is, which is here, or we can do it from here. There we go. And there's our broken car. So the car is broken. During normal gameplay, cars not break down so quickly. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> he makes one run and then just trashes the truck. All right. All right. Uh, average breakdowns are fixed by teams. Oh, okay, light breakdowns can be fixed by the driver. Average breakdowns are fixed by teams who arrive with a repair truck. And lastly, in cases of the most complicated of accidents, a car must be towed to the garage for repair. We have faced a very serious car breakdown. Your driver has to wait for a tow truck. Okay. All right. So you have no tow truck, no technicians, nothing. So 
You've, the driver's already called a tow truck from a local commercial repair service, but you have to hire a technician on your own. So we need to go back to our garage. Here we are. And we need to go to repair department, and we need to hire ourselves a technician. So we got Diana Parker, $911 a month, or we've got Abraham Smith. Hmm. Actually, Abraham seems to be the better dude for the job. So we're going to throw him in there. There we are. Repair cars. Repair takes quite some time, but the more technicians in your garage, the higher qualified they are, the better they'll do. Okay, so open our office window. Here's our company here. There's our office window. What we want to do now is hire ourselves a manager. So we got Chloe Spencer. Thirteen ninety-eight a month. Nice. 31 years, 16 percent, 1288, 23 years, 11 percent. Well, we're going to go with Chloe, just because, well, we got money to burn, right? There we are. Chloe Spencer is now that. So, if we look at the information, we'll see we now have a 16 percent reduction to the aging of our vehicle. Okay. So, that's very cool. Um... You're not going to let me close that? Okay. There we are. There, now it closes. <laughs> the game world around you is developing. And in fact, it does. Like you can see here, are new buildings going up. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. And they'll provide more profitable contracts. Good business will develop cities and roads as well as contribute to establishments of your new enterprise. This will be your merit. Press OK. Congratulations on completion of the training mission. Now you're ready to manage a transport company. Good luck. Press OK to return to the main menu. So, from this point on, um, that's basically your tutorial. And you can see what happens here. You can buy more and more trucks take contracts at all these various points, and there's a few different ones. They will expand, their amount of contracts will expand as you do more good deliveries with them, etc. The cities expand, all of that. It only gives you a limited amount of time, and then it decides it's going to press the OK button. So there you go. But that's been our look. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. And as I say, check this game out on Steam and also have a look at the uh, that Transroad America. Interesting looking game. This said, sort of a gigantic version of this. Hope you enjoyed, folks. If you did, well, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. Ring the little bell. All that joy, joy. Happy, happy. Till next time, this is Species 7. Ciao for now.